the, the best part of being the last speaker is all the good things have been said. So basically, <laughs> my previous speakers have said all that has to be said, but nevertheless, I will say my part. Um, if I can take, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if I can take you back to history for a while. In 1875, 25% of Fiji's population died due to measles. And also around the same time in 1800s, smallpox was also threatening the Pacific Island nations. Due to the devastation caused by measles and the fear of other communicable diseases, a group of young Fijians were trained as vaccinators then. And this ultimately led to the establishment of the first ever medical school in Fiji, Fiji School of Medicine. It is over 200 years ago now, and the benefits of vaccination is clearly evident. Smallpox and polio has been eradicated. As a result, the immunization program being led by the Ministry of Health and Medical Services with the support of our stakeholders in Fiji has continued to reduce the burden of certain vaccine-preventable diseases such as tuberculosis, measles, hepatitis, rubella, polio, and tetanus, just to name a few. These diseases are targeted in public health programs as they contribute to a high burden of disease and having an associated high disability and mortality outcomes. Ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned by the previous uh, experts, if I may say, vaccination not only protects individuals from life-threatening diseases, but also offers protection to the community at large. As such, it is also important that community members are aware of the proven effectiveness of immunization in saving lives and preventing serious morbidity and mortality. All immunizations used in the Fijian immunization programs are safe and effective and WHO pre-qualified. Vaccination has been demonstrated to be one of the most effective and cost-effective public health interventions. Worldwide, it has been estimated that immunization programs prevent approximately 2.5 million deaths each year. The global eradication of smallpox in 1997 and the near elimination of poliomyelitis and global reduction in other vaccine-preventable diseases are model examples of disease control through immunizations. I'm pleased to say that in the year 2000, Fiji and the Western Pacific region were declared polio-free by World Health Organization. Fiji also agreed to work towards measles elimination in 2022 and hepatitis B control as part of the Western Pacific region's commitment to support their citizens from vaccine-preventable diseases. So as mentioned, vaccines, vaccination not only protects individuals, but also protects others in the community by increasing the overall level of immunity <coughs> in the population and thus minimizing the spread of infection. This concept, I'm sure we've said it before, is known as herd immunity. Of course, there's been a lot of hard work happening behind the scenes since the outbreak was declared to make the vaccines available for our children and also for the nation's protection from this deadly disease. I, I'd like to urge all parents, guardians, children and friends to make good use of this opportunity because the cost of having to deal with meningococcal infection is devastating and very, very costly. So on that note, like I said, everything has been said. I'd just like to take this time to express my sincere gratitude and appreciation to the, the National Task Force for all the work that was done towards organizing this national immunization campaign for MENC, and more importantly, our sincere appreciation to all our partners, for without whom we wouldn't have been able to come this far. So on behalf of the Fijian government, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to wholeheartedly thank uh, UNICEF, uh, WHO and DFED for your mm -hmm. tremendous support in assisting us organize the national immunization campaign for, for our people here. And uh, as we roll out, as we roll out the immunization campaign from May 14th, um, we, we anticipate queues at our health centers. Okay? Um, we, I also in anticipate some parents not consenting to vaccinating their children. Okay? So these are some of the things we will address as we go along. But all in all, I'd like to encourage all parents and guardians to, to be part of this immunization program for the greater protection of your children and your communities at, at large. So once again, thank you very much. And um, I'm sure we will have a successful rollout of this immunization program. So God bless you all. Thank you.